a little background for you on the CR500 crankshaft. The spline as machined by the factory and most likely by any aftermarket supplier uh, is not timed in any particular orientation. So these teeth don't necessarily perfectly line up with the crank pin. So I came up with a, a little jig to help you synchronize all of this together. You see here we have the uh, BRC uh, gear cluster for the, the crankshaft. We have the primary drive gear and the balance shaft drive gear. And then here is the balance shaft driven gear which you can see has some tungsten weights to help get the balance factor where we need it. Uh, there was very little room in this engine so I didn't have the luxury of putting a, a swing weight on this gear. And uh, here we have the timing jig which we're going to use to clock the crankshaft to the balance shaft on the other side of the engine. And I'll show you how that goes together. We're on the ignition side of the engine and uh, you can see we have our crankshaft and we've already installed the balance shaft in the engine and this is where the timing plate comes in. You can see there's a tab here that's going to go into the keyway of the crankshaft and obviously some flats that are going to align with the balance shaft. So this just slides on, align your crankshaft so the tab can slide into the keyway and obviously orient your balance shaft so it sits against the flats here and then install a couple of fasteners, probably three fasteners that we're going to supply with the kit to help locate this and you can kind of just push it down a little so that the flats make solid contact against the balance shaft to ensure everything's properly timed. So I'm just going to install these loosely for now. And I'm going to push this plate down and snug it up. It doesn't have to be crazy tight, just snug. And then we'll move back to the other side of the engine. Okay, we're on the right side of the engine, uh, on the primary drive side or the clutch side. And we're going to first install our balance driven gear onto our balance shaft. I've already installed the woodruff key here into the balance shaft and this is a special woodruff key that has the ends knocked off uh, for proper clearance. Um, I could have used a smaller key but they get quite tiny and uh, a little fussy to deal with so we opted to go with a larger keyway with flats on the ends much like Honda does on the uh, ignition rotor side of this engine. So I'm going to install this balance driven gear like that. And now you'll see that the cluster gear has a spline that matches the Honda crankshaft and this is where you have to use your best judgment because these splines aren't timed properly which means that this guy could fit in any rotation possible. But what can happen is you go to put it on and the teeth don't line up. Well we have numerous options and you just need to uh, go around the engine or around the crankshaft until you find proper timing. And we know that our crankshaft and our balance shaft are timed because of that timing jig on the opposite side and so we're just going to gently rotate this around one tooth at a time until we find good even mesh. And you can check that mesh, make sure it's sitting fairly evenly and there you go. So now we know that our crank is at TDC because of the timing jig, our balance shaft is oriented in the cor correct location and our gears are properly meshing. So now we can go ahead and tighten these guys down and while you're at it, if you wanted to, you could uh, mark the teeth and the root of the tooth that line up and you could also mark your crankshaft and your balance shaft and take a little uh, punch or something and scribe or engrave a line on those. But just keep in mind if you 
change your crankshaft and you, let's say you buy an aftermarket crank instead of rebuilding uh, your existing one, um, the timing of this spline on the crankshaft may, may be different and you're going to have to go through the sequence of events again and the timing mark on this gear would no longer uh, correlate to that crankshaft. So just be careful of that. So don't lose the timing plate uh, that you're going to use to time this engine. Keep that somewhere safe and handy and uh, you'll be able to use it in the years to come for uh, rebuilding your engine whenever required. All right, I've gone ahead and torqued up the balance shaft and the crankshaft and uh, please torque them to the specified numbers in our technical bulletins. And a word of caution, we would like you to make sure that the threads on both the balance shaft and inside the crank and the crank bolt are thoroughly cleaned. Make sure there's no uh, residual oil or old Loctite present. Use contact cleaner and a wire brush and blow everything off so it's nice and dry. Um, oil can act like a release agent and if those threads are not clean or a little bit oily, the Loctite isn't doing its job. And we want to make sure that with the forces involved here in the balancing of this engine, that nothing wiggles itself loose. So uh, again, make sure you, you torque to the specified torque spec and use the red Loctite. So that does it for this technical bulletin. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your BRC CR500B. We'll talk to you soon.